Ukraine will still strike Russian missiles in Russia with drones, ATA CMS, Storm Shadow and Scalp. General, the permissions Ukraine received from its partners to strike military targets on Russian territory immediately demonstrated their effectiveness. Expanding the area of action of these and other means is a real prospect. This opinion was expressed on the air of the Freedom TV channel by General of the Ukrainian Army, former head of the Foreign Intelligence Service of Ukraine, Nikolai Malamuz. We have shown that permission to strike the territory of Russia means specific, saved lives of Ukrainian citizens, children, civilians. On the territory of, for example, the Kharkiv region, the Kyiv region and nearby regions. For example, we neutralized the S-300, S-400, which could strike at 220 to 250 kilometers. ATA CMS, Storm Shadow and Scalp can strike at 300 kilometers. Therefore, this entire zone in the Russian Federation can be cleared of the possibility of carrying out terrorist strikes on Ukraine. This is a very powerful message that we will bomb the enemy on their territory and preempt terrorist attacks such as the strike on Okmat debt. I think that expanding the zone of action of these systems and others that we will receive in the near future with a range from 80 kilometers to 500 kilometers is a real prospect for suppressing all the systems that strike our territories and strike our troops, the guest of the broadcast said. The general also emphasizes that one should not forget about the weapons, drones and missiles produced in Ukraine, which can reach the enemy at a depth of up to 2,000 kilometers on the territory of the Russian Federation. I think this is only the beginning of a new strategy of deep destruction of military facilities, airfields, launchers of all types and S-300, but also Iskanders and KH-101, which hit Okmat debt. These are strikes on troop deployment bases. This is very important. Having intelligence information through space reconnaissance, radio technical, intelligence, drones, we can receive information online and strike with these missiles in the Russian hinterland and very powerfully neutralize them there when they are not yet ready. They have not launched missiles, have not raised planes and have not sent combat ready troops. It is best to destroy them there. Missiles, planes and manpower, emphasized Nikolai Malamuz. Air scouts from Ukraine discovered and struck a 2S-19M Tombstone self-propelled artillery unit belonging to the Russian army in the occupied territory of Kherson region. The combat equipment was destroyed by explosions with the missiles fired from the Baba Yaga drone. Also, the position of the invaders was seriously damaged. The images were taken and shared by the Russian military. The occupiers say that a total of nine shells were fired from the drone into the area. Oh, awesome.